Canada has revealed its strategy to allocate around 273.5 million Canadian dollars, equivalent to 201.96 million dollars US, for the urgent procurement of air defense and anti-drone systems. The primary objective of this initiative is to bolster the military capabilities of its forces under NATO command and advance the modernization of its armed forces, according to statements from the country's defense minister. The investment encompasses 227.5 million Canadian dollars earmarked for acquiring the RBS 70NG short range air defense system. This system is aimed at safeguarding Canadian troops stationed in Latvia against aerial attacks, as articulated by Defense Minister Bill Blair. The news of this allocation was initially reported by Army Recognition on February 16, 2024. Additionally, Canada plans to invest 46 million Canadian dollars in anti-drone technology. This technology will provide support to the approximately 1,000 Canadian Armed Forces (CAF) personnel involved in NATO's Operation Reassurance, as outlined in the Minister's announcement. Operation Reassurance, spearheaded by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO) is focused on bolstering the alliance's presence in Eastern Europe and reassuring NATO member countries situated near Russia, in the wake of Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014. This operation underscores NATO's dedication to ensuring the security and stability of its members amidst escalating tensions in the region. As part of Operation Reassurance, NATO has deployed additional land, air, and naval forces in Eastern European member states, including Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and the Black Sea region. These deployments are intended to deter potential aggression, strengthen collective defense, and demonstrate solidarity among alliance members. The operation encompasses a series of joint military exercises, enhancements in defense capabilities, and the implementation of reassurance measures such as air patrols, maritime surveillance missions, and the deployment of missile defense systems. Through these endeavors, NATO seeks to enhance cooperation and interoperability among member countries' armed forces, while maintaining a continuous presence in critical regions to forestall conflicts and uphold peace. This announcement follows Minister Blair's attendance at a meeting with NATO defense ministers in Brussels. Initial deliveries of the systems are anticipated later this year. These acquisitions are poised to significantly enhance the CAF's capacity to counter various aerial threats, including fighter jets, helicopters, and unmanned aerial systems, while also bolstering their ability to detect, identify, track, and neutralize small drones.